Welcome back dear students. In this small session, we will be discussing about two engines that is CRDA engine and MPFA engine. CRDA stands for common rail direct injection engine and MPFA stands for multi point fuel injection engine. So, what are these engines? Actually, these engines are widely used by different automobile manufacturers and CRD engine is actually an advanced version of diesel engine and MPF engine is an advanced version of conventional petrol engine. So, let us see more about these two types of engine and their advantages. So, before going to the CRD engine we must understand what how the conventional fuel system of a diesel engine work or a normal diesel engine how this fuel system is able to deliver the fuel in correct time and correct proportions. This is a block diagram of fuel system of diesel engine conventional diesel engine. So, it starts from here we have a fuel tank where our diesel will be filled we have a feed pump a small pump which pump this diesel after that it is getting filtered in a fuel filter and we have uh, the major high pressure pump which pump this fuel into the fuel injector. So, this is the high pressure pump which ultimately pump fuel to the fuel injector and this is the nozzle of that fuel injector and this fuel will be sprayed with very high pressure at the correct time and some fuel will be returned back because the amount of fuel will vary according to load and other conditions. So, the excess fuel will be again returned back to the fuel tank. So, this is the conventional fuel system of a diesel engine. So, nothing complicated we have mainly we are using a high pressure pump and we have some fuel filters and other feed pump etcetera and I'll finally, this fuel is delivered through this fuel injector nozzle. Then how this CRD engine differs from this type of conventional engine. So, common rail direct injection and as the name suggests uses a common rail system which pump with very high pressure that is about 2000 bar. So, can you imagine one bar that is atmospheric pressure, atmospheric pressure only around one bar 1.01325 bar, but here in CRD engine we are able to pump diesel with a very high pressure of above around or more than 2000 bar. So, that much pressure is possible by CRD engine and this is the layout of CRD engine you can see uh, mainly this is applicable in multi cylinder engine. So, heavy diesel engine will be made of more than one cylinder. So, this is a four cylinder engine this is an example because we can see four injectors are there. So, mainly this applied for multi cylinder engine and what are the other difference you can see here here also we have a fuel tank filter is there then fuel pump is there high pressure pump. So, these components are more or less same conventional engine also we have a fuel tank fuel filter a fuel feed pump and a high pressure pump is there, but the difference is here you can see here the main difference is this is controlled by an electronic control unit ECU. So, an electronic control unit control the entire system and another difference is we have a common rail this distribution pipe is known as a common rail. So, in this the common rail refers to the fact that all the fuel injectors are supplied by a common fuel rail and what is this this is nothing but a pressure accumulator. So, in this pipe or a common rail this one we will be storing the fuel with very high pressure. So, it acts as a pressure accumulator where the fuel is stored with 
very high pressure so that is the importance of common rail so the major component of the crd engine is this common rail so what is common rail common rail is nothing but a pipe or a pressure accumulator where our diesel is stored in very high pressure and from here we are supplying these two different fuel injectors and so the accumulator supplies the fuel to the multiple fuel injectors with high pressure and another thing is here the fuel injectors are controlled by an electronic control which how this electronic control is like actually it is a microcontroller so it receives different signals this electronic control unit you can see these red lines all these are signals from various sensors so we have different sensors for different application for example we have engine speed sensor engine load sensor radiator temperature sensor so so many sensor will pass some signals as input to this electronic control unit here you can see one sensor is fuel temperature sensor so normally sensors are there which pass some input signals to the ccu the ecu will use these signals to calculate what is the amount of fuel required or what is the pressure of fuel to be injected what is the timing etc and it will pass some output signals to this injector or it will actuate this injector so you can see here one actuation is also given for the pressure so for regulating this pressure of this common rail we have a pressure regulating valve that also activated by this electronic control unit so that is the important thing in crd engine this is the heart of a crd engine that is an ecu electronic control unit which control the fuel injector or the amount of fuel injected what is the pressure of fuel injected what is the timing of fuel injected etc by combining these input signals from various sensors and they are activating how these are acting fuel injector activating they are we actuate either hydraulically or mechanically through a nozzle and so inside the injector we have some nozzle a plunger etc is there so they are controlled by either hydraulically or mechanically with the help of this output signal and they will spray this fuel into the different cylinders so this is the common rail direct ignition and main advantage is since the fuel pressure energy is stored remotely so we are storing this fuel with very high pressure in this common rail the injection pressure at the start and end of injection will be very near the pressure in the accumulator so you can see the fuel will be injected for a particular time so starting it will inject fuel for a particular time and then it will stop so at the beginning of injection as well as the end of injection we can achieve the same pressure since this is supplied by a high pressure common rail so this is the overall working of a common rail direct injection so this is a diesel engine advanced diesel engine with electronic control unit and a common rail so you have to draw this figure this figure is very very important and explain the working of crd engine Now, what are advantages of CRD engine? CRD engine is having a number of advantages. First one is having a reduced noise and vibration compared to normal diesel engine. We know diesel engine noise and vibration is one of the disadvantages of diesel engine. But in, if you are using CRD engine, this we can reduce to some extent. And also another disadvantage of diesel engine was exhaust emission, smoke. particulates etc so this can be reduced here and fuel economy we can increase the fuel economy that is the mileage and high power output even at low rpm we can get high power output and mostly it is having a precise injection timing we can as since it is controlled by electronically the injection timing will be more precise and increased combustion quality the combustion is very smooth but 
the main disadvantage is even though is having all these headness cost because we know it is initial cost of this crd engine will be very high maybe 1 1.5 lakh higher than the conventional diesel engine because it is completely electronically controlled and it's also use high pressure common rail and pump etc so the initial cost the main disadvantage only or the one and only disadvantage is the initial cost of CID engine will be more and nowadays these are can applied in almost all automobile manufacturers for example Mahindra, Maruti, Tata etc. They are using this in different names and labels in almost all their diesel engines because of these advantages. Now we are going to MPFA engine. So MPF engine is a petrol engine, but before studying MPF engine, you must see the fuel system of a conventional petrol engine. So this is a fuel system of conventional petrol engine. You can see here, carburetor is here, a small device. So in petrol engine, you know that the air and fuel are to be mixed before entering the cylinder, not like diesel engine where fuel is injected only at the end of compression stroke. In petrol engine, this should be mixed before entering the cylinder. So this is a four-cylinder engine. These are the cylinder top view of this four-cylinder engine. And you can see the first the air is coming through here after some filter etc. The air is going to the carburetor. Simultaneously fuel from the fuel tank, fuel filter, this line goes to the carburetor. So carburetor mix the air and fuel in correct quantity as well as quality and it is supplies this to the cylinder through different inlet manifold. So this is the fuel system of normal carbureted petrol engine. So air is coming through one side get filtered, fuel is coming from the fuel tank and the carburetor mix this and supplies to the engine through inlet manifold. This is the conventional petrol engine fuel system. So what is MPF engine? This is also a multi-cylinder engine and it is an advanced version of carburetor engine. So here we will not be using any carburetor. You know already know this most of the modern wake petrol engine are not using any carburetor because it is due to its complications and lack of accuracy etc these carburetors are not used readily in most of the modern vehicle only they are used in some smaller motor bikes scooters etc most of the advanced petrol engine vehicles like car etc most of the car they are not used and how what is this mpf engine mpf engine the most important thing is it's also use a fuel injector for each cylinder so already first we are studied that fuel injector is used in petrol engine, not used in petrol engine, it is used in diesel engine. But in modern petrol engine like MPF engine, we are using fuel injector for mixing air and fuel and we are not using carburetor. This is an MPF engine, you can see here you have fuel, fuel pump is here fuel filter is here, so this is fuel, again fuel filter, so the fuel is going to the fuel injector and air will be coming directly here at the inlet manifold and we can see this is a 4 cylinder engine, so we have 4 fuel injectors which inject fuel and so mixing takes place at the inlet manifold. So before entering the cylinder at the inlet manifold the fuel and air are mixed and then they will be supplied inside the cylinder. Here also a microcontroller is used to control each and every fuel injector. So that is not in the figure. Here also like CRD engine we are electronically control the fuel injector. So that is the advantage of fuel injector compared to carburetor. Carburetor is not possible to control electronically because it is more or less completely mechanical device which works by pressure difference etc. But if you are using fuel injector the important thing is we can control it by electronic signals because it works by a plunger and a nozzle. So
so the movement of the plunger and we can control electronically and the microcontroller just like CRD engine monitors the different input signals from the sensors and keeps on controlling the fuel injector what is the amount of fuel to be injected etc so what is the difference between CRD engine and this one they have most some common thing is here also we are there we are electronically controlled fuel injector here also we have air and fuel is going from fuel pump all so most of common things are there but the main difference is here we are injecting fuel at the inlet manifold not inside the cylinder so in CRD engine we were in injecting this fuel with the help of fuel injector inside the cylinder but here we are injecting at the inlet manifold that is outside the cylinder that is the one difference and another thing is we does not require that much high pressure since we are injecting its outside so here the function of this fuel injector is to just mix with the air but in diesel engine we require very high pressure fuel injection because we are injecting it inside there will not be sufficient time for mixing if you are not using high pressure so in diesel engine in CRD engine in particular we are using 2000 bar pressure fuel injectors but here you can see that much pressure is not required because we will get enough time for mixing this air and fuel with the inlet manifold so there is no common rail or pressure accumulator is absent here so that is the difference between CRD and MPF MPF is a petrol engine but we are using injectors electronically controlled injectors but the difference is here we are injecting we are replacing carburetor with a set of fuel injector so they are injecting fuel and mixing air outside the cylinder at the inlet manifold that you know inside the cylinder like CRD engine and we does not require that much high pressure here and there is no need of a common rail or pressure accumulator etc so that is the difference between CRD engine and MPF engine and here also we have several advantages compared to conventional petrol engine since each cylinder is supplied with a precise quantity of air fuel mixture this is having a very good mixing compared to a carburetor engine this is mixing capability is very high and improved atomization of fuel and good engine response to throttle because it's electronically controlled the some sensor from the throttle throttle means the acceleration pedal will be giving signals to the injector so we can quickly control this according to the throttle positions an accurate supply of air fuel mixture high fuel efficiency and another thing we can use lean mixture lean mixture means a mixture which is less in fuel than the chemical correct fuel so we can or we can use less amount of fuel than the conventional petrol engine for due to this better fuel distribution so these are some advantages of MPF engine so just like CRD engine also here we have several advantages due to this electronically controlled fuel injection and here also the disadvantage is the increased cost the con than the conventional petrol engine so cost of this MPF engine is very high so that is about CRD engine and MPF engine you can watch different the animation videos from YouTube the real engine so, so you can see what is how a CRD engine and MPF engine works so thank you